Hi, welcome to Genius Lounge. I'm your host, Matt. Genius Lounge is a place where you can learn about the technology that you already have. If you enjoy Genius Lounge, please let us know by liking this video and then subscribing to our channel. Today, we're gonna to be talking about calendars. Sometimes with our hectic schedules, our calendars can rule us instead of the other way around. And while I'm not here to help with time management, let's see how we can tame your calendar just a little bit. So first off, let's make sure that we've got iCloud calendar syncing turned on. I'm gonna go into my settings, tap my name here at the very top, tap iCloud. So this calendar section right here I see is turned on, which indicates that my calendars are syncing up to iCloud and my other devices that are also connected to iCloud. Let's take a look around the calendar app. At the bottom left of the screen, there's the Today button. If you're in the year view, this will zoom to today's date, which is highlighted in red. And then if you tap today again, you'll see your events for today. Currently, I don't have anything going on. Next up is the calendars button. It might seem odd that the calendars app has a calendars button, but this will allow you to have multiple calendars that appear all on one page, all of which can be color coded. For example, you can have a work and a home calendar or you can have a set of color-coded calendars for your family where each family member gets their own color. Next is the inbox button. This will take you to your event invites and replies. You can see if someone has invited you to lunch or if you need to change your response to an invite, you can easily do that as well. Along the top are the month and year navigation that allow you to see the month or year in overview, There's also a list view button which will display events in a list rather than show them in their slotted times. To the right of list view, you'll see the search button, which allows you to search for events in case you can't find them in their slotted times. And finally, there's the add button, which will let us add an event. So let's go ahead and do that. So when we press the plus, we're given a new event sheet that slides up from the bottom of the screen. First off, let's give our event a title. The next field is the location field, and it's optional. You can be very specific or very generic with this particular field. You can also give it something silly like, up in the treehouse. There may be some recent items or suggestions from your phone. If you give it a location that has an address, however, it can give you directions to that location and even prompt you to leave at a particular time so that you arrive as the event starts. So I'm going to hold my event in Golden Gate Park, which it knows is in San Francisco. Okay, now let's block out when the event is actually taking place. I can select an all day event with this little switch or I can specify a date and time range. So my event is going to start, let's say this Saturday, at four in the afternoon. You can choose a time zone, which this just happens to be my time zone, so I'm not gonna change that. And I'm going to say that this ends at 10 p.m. Just beneath that, I can choose if it's a recurring event or not. I can give it one of these options here, or I can choose a custom recurrence. This is great for music lessons or appointments that you keep on a regular basis. And finally in this section, you can choose whether or not you want to give yourself some travel time. So in this case, I'll give myself about 30 minutes to get to Golden Gate Park. After that, you've got the ability to choose which calendar you'd like the event to be added to and that's bundled in with your invitees, which I'll get to in just a moment. So in this case, I'm gonna say that this is part of my personal or my home calendar. After this, you've got alerts, so you can remind yourself when to leave for the event or just remind yourself that an event is coming up. And you can tell it whether or not you are free or busy during this time. So I'm gonna say that I'm definitely busy because I don't wanna schedule anything else during the party. And I can also take some notes down here at the very bottom. Okay, so let's go back to invitees. It's very easy to invite someone to your event. All you need to do is enter their email address. 
and I'm going to press Done. If your invitee is also using iCloud, the event invite will appear on their device in their calendar. If they're not using iCloud, the event will then show up in their email, which they can choose accept, decline, or maybe. And once your invitee responds to your message, you'll even be notified right there on your phone. So that's it for the basics of calendar on your iPhone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you get all the newest videos that we post. Thanks so much for joining me again. I'm Matt, and I'll see you next time on Genius Lounge.